हेलो वॉट इज अप एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू आर लर्निंग जर्नी ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिसिटी सो इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी टॉक अबाउट चार्जेस राइट इट्स एन इंट्रेंसिक और द फिजिकल प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ एवरी मटीरियल दैट यू कैन सी इन दिस यूनिवर्स सो दैट वॉज चार्ज सो नाउ इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट करंट आई एम श्योर दैट यू हैव हर्ड अबाउट दैट वर्ड बिफोर बट लेट्स फाइंड आउट दैट वॉट एक्चुअली करंट एज सो लेट्स बिगेन so let's say that we have this much part of any conductor right so we have this much cross sectional area and we also have something called an timer right so we have one timer also so now what we are going to see so we will see that in one second how much charge is flowing from this area right so from this area how much charge is flowing that is current so that simply is current so in other words we can say that current is the flow of charges through a particular area per unit time or in other words we can also say that the current is the rate of flow of charges right so the current is the rate of flow of charges now we use the symbol i to represent the current right so i for the current and now let's talk about the unit here so the unit of current is ampere right named after andre mary ampere a french scientist so the unit of current is ampere represented by a so now let's talk something more about this unit so we know that when we measure length of something we have kilometers or meters and centimeters so if the distance is large we use kilometers and if the distance is small we use centimeter so similarly all here also we have something like milliampere and microampere right so milliampere is ma and microampere is mu ampere mu is for micro a greek letter which is the combination of m and a right so mu ampere so 1 ampere is equals to 10 to the power 6 milliampere and 1 ampere is equals to 10 to the power 6 microampere so we have these two quantities right so this is very simple so for instance if someone tell you that that circuit has a current of 5000 milliampere so what does this mean it means that it has the current of 5 amperes because we know that 1 ampere is equals to 10 to the power 3 milliampere right so that was this okay so once we are done with that so we know that current is the rate of flow of charges so now i am giving you one task that write down what is current right and write down an equation right which gives us what current is right so pause the video and try to write an equation what is current okay so we know that current is the rate of flow of charges it means that charge per unit time so from this what we get yes that i which is current it is equals to charge which is q and divided by the time which is t so i is equals to q by t right so current is the charge per unit time right so that's what our equation is now one more thing that we can do is that uh, instead of the symbols we can write the units right so we can write this 1 ampere is equals to 1 coulomb by 1 second because the si unit of time is seconds right so we have 1 ampere is equals to 1 coulomb divided by 1 second okay so from this what we get so from this we can say that when 1 coulomb of charge is flowing in 1 second then we can say that the current is 1 ampere or the current is of 1 ampere right so once again that when 1 coulomb of charge is flowing in 1 second then the current is said to be of 1 ampere so that's what it's like so this topic by the way was very simple now what we are going to do i will give you one question and you have to try to solve it so let's see the question is so now the question is that calculate the amount of charges flowing in 10 seconds if the current is 10 lakh microampere right so one hint i want to give you is that first of all you have you should convert all these units in their si unit right so just try to solve this question in your copy so okay so now i will also explain you this question so we know that i is equals to q by t now they have said that i or the current is 10 lakh microampere it means that 10 to the power 6 a microampere 
So first of all, it's, it's going to be better to convert this into its SI unit. So we know that 1 ampere is equal to 10 to the power 6 microampere. So it, it simply means that this is equal to 1 ampere. Okay, so now we have the current of 1 ampere and this is equals to Q, that's what they have asked, divided by 10 seconds. Right, now take that 10 on the other side. So we will get 1 multiplied by 10. So we have 10, then ampere into seconds. So ampere into seconds is nothing but the coulomb. So now we get the charge as 10 coulombs. Right, so that's what our question is. That 10 coulomb of charge will flow in 10 seconds if the current is 1 ampere. So that's what our question is. So that's it. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope that you understood what current is and what its unit is. So by the way, that was very simple. So that's it. Thank you very much. And now I will meet you in the next video. Thank you very much.